What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video today. I'm going to be continuing my mini-series where I share some of my top and favorite video games on different consoles. For this series, I'm only going to be mentioning and talking about video games that I've owned and played because it's unfair for me to talk about a top video game that I've never played and never experienced. So it's only going to be games that I've played, and today is going to be all about the PlayStation 3. Let's get right into it. Okay, so for me, I just want to mention, I never got my PlayStation 3 until, I want to say, 2011, 2012. So on this list here, there is a lot of games that I've played over the years of me having the PlayStation 3. So up first is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is, in my opinion, my favorite Call of Duty ever made. It was amazing. My favorite thing about it was there was no zombies, because... Within Call of Duty, I hate the zombie modes. I just don't like them. I never gravitate towards them. Some of my friends enjoy them. I do not. I used to hate playing zombies all the time. On Modern Warfare 2, there was no zombies. I loved that the maps were, in my opinion, larger because I used to always use snipers. So I can't remember the names of the maps on it, but there was one that had trenches that used to be my favorite one. I could go and snipe in it. I know there was one at a construction site. I used to enjoy that one as well. And it was always a lot of fun. But this Call of Duty game, in my opinion, is my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. I remember some of the old ones back on the PlayStation 2, Finest Hour, and the, some of the original ones. I enjoyed them as well, but Modern Warfare 2 has to be my favorite Call of Duty. Next up is another Call of Duty that I want to mention, and that is World at War. That is also one of my favorite Call of Duties. This one here, I think it was the first time that the campaign mode was co-op. It was couch co-op. I don't think you could play that with friends online at the time. But it was couch co-op and that used to be always fun. Me and my dad used to love Call of Duty games, war games in general. And the fact that we could play co-op to do the campaign was a lot of fun. Now with World at War, amazing game all around in my opinion. But this, I believe, was the first game that Zombies was introduced. And... Even though I wasn't great at it, and I've never liked zombie games within Call of Duty, because this was the first one, it was, I think, only one place, unless there was DLC that I didn't even know about. Uh, I enjoyed the zombies mode for it, because it was pretty simple, pretty basic. I never got too far in it, but uh, it, it, was, it was better than a lot of the newer ones. Now, with Call of Duty, I hate zombies, and I refuse to play it. I just don't like anything about zombies in the new current Call of Duties, but this one here I really enjoyed. Next up for me is Fallout 3. This is the first Fallout video game that I've owned. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. I don't think I got too far in it, and sadly I did end up selling it years ago, and I ended up selling my copy of the game. I really wish I would have kept it just because of how iconic it was for me and being the first Fallout video game. I fell in love with the series immediately. I played Fallout 3, Fallout 4, I didn't get the new one because it's more online, it's not really story driven, and I like the story aspect of it. The reason why I enjoy the Fallout game is because I love apocalyptic uh, worlds, video games, zombie games, stuff like that, where it's at pretty much the world's end. For some reason, I always gravitate towards those type of games, and Fallout is all of that and more. But there's so much about this game that was so interesting. The story was phenomenal. I love the story. I don't think I ended up completing it, but I just had a blast with this game because every time you played it, you could find something new that you didn't know something before. You could find a new location, or you could find a new weapon, or something like that. It was always a lot of fun for me. Next up is South Park Stick of Truth. This game for me was very iconic. As a fan of South Park since I was a kid, I grew up with South Park. I love that kind of humor. And the video game is amazing. It has everything that you think South Park is about and then some. All the humor is there. And I love that the developers of the game and the writers of the show actually came together. It's not just South Park, the creators of the show, putting all the creative uh, stuff for the video game onto the developers. It was an equal part. The writers of the show actually wrote the story for the video game, which I thought was amazing. And then the developers of the game just developed the game based on what they wanted and what they drew. 
So it was all in all amazing. Throughout the game, there's so many references to small things that happened throughout the years on this show. I think this the South Park is has been on the show for uh, has been out for like over 20 years now, and you see so many references to something that was only in one episode, and I remember that episode, and you see it in the video game. So that's why I really enjoyed this video game. It reminded me so much of my childhood. Definitely spent a lot of hours playing it and actually beat the game. So much fun, and I even got the next version of it, the next uh, game that came out, Fractured But Whole, on the PS4, because I love this game so much. And I actually went out on the PS4 because it included the... Uh, stick of truth and I went and played it on the ps4 and beat it as well So I didn't only play it on the ps3. I beat it on the ps4 as well It was just so much fun. I had to play it again next up for me is Fight night champions. I still have this game in my collection. It honestly is a lot of fun It is basically your simple boxing game and the first time playing it I think I chose a heavyweight and I just sucked I was losing almost every fight whenever I was doing career mode and then I did a next, the next one, and I was pretty much undefeated for my whole career. I don't think I actually got defeated at all. I think I was 30-0, and 0, but I kind of left it at that whenever I got my PS4. I never went back and played it. Uh, some of these, One of these days, I'm actually going to go back and play it because I really want to, and there's some trophies that I missed on it. But that game for me, somebody that loves fighting games, I honestly love that game. It is so much fun, and that's why I got... UFC 2 and UFC 3 because I love that style of game where you're basically just fighting and moving up and advancing in your career winning championships and doing stuff like that it was so much fun and the last one for me is the Uncharted Collection so I actually got this for the PS4 I still have it and I've yet to play it but it is just that the Uncharted Collection the first three Uncharted video games but back on the PlayStation 3, I actually had the first two Uncharted video games. They were a lot of fun. I remember playing both of them. I didn't beat the second one. I only beat the first one, but I got pretty far in the second one. And then whenever I got my PlayStation 4, it actually came with the Uncharted Collection, which is the first three video games, which I have yet to play on the PlayStation 4. I really want to someday just to get all of those trophies and just enjoy the whole series because I never got to play the third one. I actually wanted to go and play the third one on its own. But I kind of, if I'm, if I'm going to go back to the series and play it, I want to play starting at the first one and go from the first one, the second one, and then play the third one, which I just, since I have so many games right now, I never even think of having any time to go and do that. But someday I will. That's why I keep it. I'm never getting rid of it. I want to keep it in my collection until I'm going to play it because I know I'm going to. And honestly, this was one of those exclusives to PlayStation only that I'm glad I actually have and I kept and I'm definitely going to get a chance to play it again. But these, in my opinion, are the top PlayStation 3 video games that I've owned and played. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I didn't want to list anything that I never owned and played because it's extremely hard to talk about something if you've never experienced it. That's why this list only includes the games that I remember playing whenever I was playing on the PlayStation 3. So comment down below if there's any that I missed. Ones that I've never actually got a chance to play that you think should be on the top PS3 games list. I want to hear what you guys think because I still have my PlayStation 3 and if there's any that spike my interest, I might end up finding them on eBay or something like that and buying them to give them a try. So if there's anything that you guys would recommend at least me to try, comment down below. But I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.